This morning we're learning new information about a fatal DUI crash in downtown Nashville. You can see here our crews were on the scene this morning as the scene was still active near the intersection of 4th Avenue North and Commerce Street just up a block away from Broadway, a very popular area at that time of the night. Peyton Kendi live downtown this morning following this investigation and hearing new comments from the mayor on safety for folks who are downtown. Peyton. Yeah, Blake, good morning. A devastating scene there. And now Metro Police confirmed the victim is a 66-year-old man, a tourist from Wisconsin. We're told his wife, brother-in-law, and sister-in-law were also hit in this crash and hospitalized. John Williams, a 25-year-old, his birthday just yesterday is now charged with vehicular homicide. According to police, Williams was driving a Mercedes down Commerce Street around 11.45 p.m. when he sped through a red light at 4th Avenue North. We're told he drove off the road and onto the sidewalk before hitting a parked car and a rideshare that had passengers getting in. We're told Williams showed many signs of intoxication. Multiple bottles of alcohol were found in the vehicle. The victim's name is Leroy Wenke. Lower Broadway is closed to traffic during peak times to avoid situations like this. I asked Mayor Freddie O'Connell if they would consider expanding that radius as this incident happened just one block away from Broadway. I don't know if um, further road closures downtown are um, something that NDOT is seriously evaluating, but they just recently completed Connect Downtown, uh, which is an overall um, look at how people are moving around the area. I think the biggest thing I would say is we want to remind people that uh, just like some of the other incidents we've seen, uh, this is an area where MMPD is going to be making sure that they apprehend suspects in these kinds of incidents, and we would encourage people to plan in advance so that they are not uh, inebriated or under the influence of anything while they're behind the wheel. Williams is currently being held on a $105,000 bond. Live in Nashville, Peyton Kennedy, News 2.